Hey guys, it's Vance Logic. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. In the last part, we got through most of the dungeon. I got the final, or the main item of this dungeon, the fu the magic rod, which is, I always just call it fire rod, because seriously, it's just fire. That's all it does. And we've gone through just about everything in the game, so this part, we're going to be going through the rest of it, or just getting to the final boss, or not final boss, the boss of this dungeon. There we go. Son of a bitch, I don't want to check that it's very cold. I know it's cold. I know that ice is cold. Oh, ice equals cold. You should know this. Hmm. Hey, <laughs> I think I overdid it, but hopefully I could jump to that side. If not, I'm probably going to have to Pegasus jump. Son of a... I'm trying to get on this little ice platform. There we go. There we go. Made it a lot more complex than I needed it to be. And here it is, guys. The eighth dungeon boss. The final dungeon boss, I mean. Let's get started. Crock of hoos, you're finished. I will never let you play the instruments of the sirens. Oh, yeah, you will. For this boss, all you need is the fire rod. Shoot at him, just keep shooting at him. Look at that. I think one of the shots just took it. What? God knows how much. Getting close, guys. Getting close. Hey, he does... Those little scatter shots do a lot of damage, but we beat him. Why did you come here? If it weren't for you, nothing would have had to change. You cannot wake the wind fish. Remember, you two are in the dream. Uh, nah, man. Ain't how shit works. And here it is, our final heart container. And now we have everything, guys, except for that final photo. This is the final instrument. The Thunder Drum! Yes! Everything! Everything, 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 everything. Nice drum solo. Hey, hey. I am stretching in victory. <laughs> Jeez. Egg. The egg on the mountain calls. And yep, we've got everything, guys. All that's left is that final photo. And unfortunately, it comes with a price. Because guess what it is? Actually, you guys should know what it is. Hopefully you know what it is. Because it's going to suck once I do it. Because afterwards, I'm going to be labeled a certain title. So it's kind of unavoidable. <laughs> if I want to beat this game with 100%, I have to do this. Unfortunately. I mean, I guess Miyamoto hated thieves or something. Or he wanted to prevent thievery in the games or something. So unfortunately we have to do this. It comes with the territory, guys. It comes with the territory. I don't want to do it. God damn it, I want to be beating this game with the title Link, not Thief. But yeah, we have to. Sorry guys. Here's the shop. We gotta steal something, so what do I need? I'll take some hearts. What you gotta do is circle around this old man. Make sure he's not facing you when he's when you're about to go out the door. Or make sure he's not facing the door. And just circle around him. There we go. We stole something. Guess what? You got it for free. Are you proud of yourself? Nah, man. I ain't proud. But unfortunately, now we have everything. 100% everything. So check out that menu, guys. 100% everything. Everything. And fuck you, dog. Hey, hey, hey. I just got hit in the dog. And unfortunately, stealing something comes with the price. Because now if you go back in the store, you get killed. Which I'm not going to do. So that's why I did it at the very end of the game. And if you talk to anyone, you'll be called Thief instead of whatever the hell you put. Watch. Thank you for everything. Thief, you are the kindest boy I know. One day I made a wish to the wind wish. What was the wish? It was... Oh, it's secret. I'm going to try saying Link instead of Thief. But hopefully I could do that. So, uh, guys, ignore the fact that I'm being called Thief from now on. So, yes. I'm gonna actually beat this damn game. Actually, before I do that, I should probably try saving. Actually, once I gain ice... Oh, right! Since we have the magnifying glass, I gotta still check what the path in the windfish is. Because if you just go in the windfish's egg, without figuring out what path you have to take, you're just gonna be going in an infinite-ass loop. 
It's usually a set path. There's like, I think, three or four paths available. But you don't know which one it is until you check this book right here. The Dark Secrets and Mysteries of Koholin. Do you really want to read it? Yep. Round and round. The passes ways of the egg. Left, left. Left, left, up. Right, right, up. Left, up. Shit! Left, left, up. Right, right, up. Left, up. Hmm, this book reeks of secrets. Damn right. Atlas. Eh, I don't need to know that. No, I don't need to look. Actually, if I am going to 100% everything, I need to check every single spot on this map. So before that, hopefully within these next 10 minutes, I can do that. And as you guys saw in the map right here, there's this whole block of crap that isn't checked off at all. So that's actually, I think, most of it the raft game. What you have to do is pay a whole bunch of money to get through the, to gain access through a raft and stuff. And screw you enemies. Just checking out every single point on the map. They're basically... Some of this stuff is just basic points where, like, you don't really need to gain access to, so... Hmm. Actually, I can't remember where this is. Also, if you check any point where the owl talked to you, you check, uh... He tells you exactly what he said, so... Oh, right, the Mysterious Woods. I forgot to check a couple areas in there, too. So, yeah, the rest of this... The rest of this part is just gonna be me figuring out how to fill up the rest of the map, since I haven't checked everything on the map. Screw you all! If you guys want to, you could do that yourself, but me, I'm just gonna be recording as much as I can, and in the next part, we're gonna be doing the final boss. Or fighting the final boss. Before it... And by that time, I'll have the map 100% completed, even if I don't fill up the whole map in this part. I thought I gotta stop talking so much! But unfortunately, this is a Let's Play. <laughs> I'm gonna try ending this on a pure 21 parts. Because I am a lucky motherfucker like that. Anyway, what you just gotta do is check all these areas that you wouldn't think to check. Or you probably could have checked them if you had that raccoon disorient to your, the whole map. There we go. All that's left is some of the mountain, some of the gra grave area. Yeah, the hell spawn, all that. I don't think there's anything else other than this crap. So, yes. And there's the great fairy area that I checked before. Oh, right, I forgot about this. I think I'm going to need all the money I can get, too, because that whole raft ride cost, uh, I think, 100 rupees each time you use it. Anyway, in this part, you can actually use the hookshot to get to that chest. I'm not sure if it gives a lot of money, though. Check the chest, and you get 50 rupees. Look at that, I'm so close to getting all, a full amount of money. Actually, I'm going to be ending up using a lot of money just to use that raft ride. So I'm probably going to do that whole minigame thing, like, just to get a full 999 rupees. End it on a full note. <laughs> Look at that, even my beam has piece of power in it. That's awesome. Anyway, I can wait through here. Make my way right through Crazy Tracy's little hut thing. And here's a whole bunch of area that I haven't checked yet. So I'm just filling up the map, filling up the map. All I gotta do is check this one little area right here. And there we go. And yes, 100% everything, guys. Including the map. Including the map. Nodding my head. <laughs> Alright, so what else is there? Oh, right! That last part. You see these two little spaces right here? The one surrounding right here? Well, that's gonna be safe for last, so... Yes, so... I just gotta make my way, figure out everything else while I'm here. Screw you all! Yeah, I'm over. Oh yeah, now that you have the fire... the fucking magic rock, you can burn these, you don't have to... worry about shit. <laughs> Including this huge ass motherfucker. So if you wanted to get that chest, you're gonna have to probably wait until you get the magic rod. <laughs> die, fuckers, die. <laughs> Alright, so I just gotta check this one little area right here. 
There we go. What's in here? A chest. With 20 rupees. And now I have a 999, which unfortunately is going to go to waste. I'm actually going to leave that waste... I'm just going to leave that chest right there because I think it has a whole bunch of money in it. Or at least 50 rupees. And from here on out, now to get that huge chunk of area that I haven't checked yet. That whole area. So what's that whole area anyway? Yep, that's the rapids ride mostly. And most of this is the mountain too. I think that's, yeah, level 4. Yeah, so I gotta make my way all the way through all that again. And screw you enemies. Son of a bitch. Wish we could really jump through all those, but unfortunately, fire is the solution to all things. And get out of my way. There it is. Man, I really like filling up the last parts, don't I? I think I've done that with Seasons and Ages, too. Oh, well. Damn, I'm not even close to getting to that area just yet. Koholan is pretty damn small, too, compared to Seasons and Ages. Then again, it is like before Seasons and Ages. It was made before them, anyway. I like to think of Link's Awakening is after Seasons and Ages chronologically. That's why I did that whole, like, intro thing where, like, oh my god, after ages he got shipwrecked on Koholan. So from here, filling up the rest of this map. Get out of my fucking way. Can't fight the beams. Yep, the rest of this is rapids, right? God damn it. Get the fuck out of my way. Check through all this. And here's around here's around where the rapids ride is gonna be at. Oh god damn it, screw you! Get out of my way. I think down here is yeah. No, a dead end basically. Here's the raft ride. And from here on out I think this is the rest the rest of this is just uh little six face shrine. Yep, the rest of this is rapids ride, I think. So you gotta get 16 or so. If you guys are wondering why there's that one that's already been found out, that's the one where we found the secret seashell before in, the, I think, the sixth dungeon. Unfortunately, we can't go through here. We can't swim through any of this. So, yes, we have to do this rapid ride. Anyway, you just gotta talk to this guy. Wanna go on a raft ride for 100 rupees? Yeah, unfortunately, I have to. Or I want to, anyway. Completionist's sake, guys. Anyway, what you gotta do here is a whole bunch of crap, so pull out your rock's feather, because you're mainly gonna be using that. So you can just use the d-pad to move a lot quicker, as long as you're not being directed. From here, make your way to the farthest end possible, and jump down here. This is the rapids ride. So what you gotta do here is try collecting these rupees and shit. But unfortunately, you can't be forced off a path. Shit, I think I could have gone up. I could have gotten more rupees. Yep. Crap. Unfortunately, I'm not here for doing that. Son of a bitch. So many rupees over there, man. Uh, I'm going to have to try minimizing the amount of time I spend on here. And look at that. You could have gotten all that crap right there. Anyway, see? That's where we got the secret seashell. So that's why this path is the one where we got it already. Hey, get back here. Eh, son of a whore. Look at that, if you went up this path, you could have gotten all that many rupees. And make your way down here, and the rapids ride is over. We just need these three little spots left, which I'm going to be doing in the next, uh, off screen, so... We've gotten just about every single spot in this island mapped out, guys. I'm actually going to cut it here, and I'll be right around the Windfish's egg area, so next time on Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, we're finishing up this game, so see you guys then.